Hi, my name is James Clem. I'm so excited because we're in the design screen. I love the design screen as you see the restoration morph into a reality, beautiful restoration. Patients love to watch that as well. Now here's the thing in a design screen. Hopefully with good records, and we know not every day goes like this, but with really good records, preparing well, taking good impressions, Hopefully we don't have to use a lot of tools. There's a lot of tools that you can draw on to perfect your restoration. When I do use my tools, there's three steps I go through now. You need to write this down. I want to move through steps to make sure I don't repeat a step. That's called dinking. And we want to be proficient. So the number one thing I do is I make sure the restoration that's proposed fits the arch. That's usually rotation, tipping, and torquing. That's the first thing I look for. Usually it's on. Number two is I look for occlusion. I wanna make sure my occlusion is on. And we will go through that in other videos on occlusion. In fact, you've got to watch the video on how to avoid high occlusion. It will change your life. I wish I saw that before puberty. I would've had a better life on how to avoid high occlusion. However, occlusion is number two. And then number three is emergence and proximal contacts. Usually the computer works most of that out for you, particularly if you have imposing arch and your parameters are on, parameters are in the parameter chapter. Be simple and think about things. Don't, don't dink too much. I mean, you can always set aside time to play with the tools as you get to know them, but I really work on not using my tools unless I really need to. And Remember, once that restoration mills, there's always some finishing techniques you need to do. So I want to get it close, and I want it globally to look good, but don't spend too much time here. Having said that, the two main tools you want to gear up for is the form tool and the shape tool. The shape tool is what I call my morphing tool, and the form tool is my wax spatula. If you understand those two tools and how best to use them, you'll get along pretty well with your design needs. There are other tools to fill this in, but we're gonna go through that and identify how to use each one of these and when to use them. So enjoy your tools, but don't use them too much.